All right, all right. Happy Friday to all you devils out there. Sam here with you. We're almost middle of the day here on Friday. We're going to look at Bitcoin, I think. Oh, we'll spin through a few alts as well since Bitcoin's putting us all to sleep of late. Um, but before we get to that, I just, you know, we're kind of trying to offer a little incentive here and get in the spirit of Independence Day and July 4th, the holiday weekend. So oh, this is something we do periodically. Um, We'll do a little promo over the weekend, and we'll run this through Monday the 6th. So if you're you know, interested or on the fence, but uh, you know, price point has been a barrier for you, this is a way to take advantage of that. In fact, we just did surveys of uh, all of our members, uh, current, former, those that have been through our universe. And some of the feedback we got was that they really appreciate these kind of uh, breaks and discount codes that we do because it brings that their cost down. So the the big kicker here is the the one to really save some dollars is the is the yearly at 30% off. But it's 10 for 10% for monthly, 15 for 3 month, 20 for 6, and then 30 for 12. This will be on our Twitter feed. Uh, you, you don't need any particular coupon code. We we've tweaked uh, we've tweaked it on tweaked that. What I'm trying to say We've tweaked it on the site so that you can when you go there or at least over the weekend if, if you were to be looking at a monthly or whether it's social or educational or any of these longer term educationals, yeah, you just put it in your cart, right? And it, it'll, it'll have the uh, discount already applied to it. So just FYI, so you know there. So don't, don't worry about, well, where's my code? It'll all just default to, the, to this pricing through Monday the 6th. All right. So there you go. And it'll also be on our Twitter feed as well. All right, guys. So let's... Uh, yeah. Let's go look at Bitcoin here. Well, let's look at it. Let's, look at, let's start with the weekly. So I'm here just in arithmetic scale, right? And so just, of course, we've been through this a number of times. And I'm not going to spend a lot of time here, but just, just kind of making the point here. Whereas I, I, I continue to talk about the idea of internal and external retracements here. It's just so, so fundamental to our entire technical approach. But you see that the pattern that we have here is that we get the long, the long sell-off here. We get an internal retracement, right? Of course, it's right to the golden zone, right? And then we come down. But in the, in the, in the course of that, all right, so note here that we don't go external, right? So, we, so even though we have this retracement here that's internal, we, we did not go external. You see, you see my point there? So within that, we do get an, an internal that goes external. So this pivot that comes here and then goes external, right? So that, that is, and just to refresh your memory here, this is not a golden zone. This was a 50 that went to and through, that, that pump wick went through it. But we run into this this pivot down here, so we're denied going external. But we do get the the internal swing that goes external there. So now now we go from that swing high to this swing low, get it right on here. And what do we do? All right. So again, we're we're in the you know, we we've been through this many times here. Right. So here's the the first golden zone that we tap right here, and then we tap it again right here. So this pattern that we're in of swing retrace to golden zone, but then we're getting denied. Right. So this it is here we we can make this reasonable case here that to get out of this this pattern here because now you could look at this and say, well, that seems like if that pattern is going to hold, looks like that's where that's going. Right, so we, we we would replicate this action here. It doesn't go external, but it, we get mighty mighty close to it. And you could kind of see how that. It, well, of course, the first thing it's going to have to do is break this golden zone. But if it's coming down here and it's going to stay with uh, in sync with these trend lines, you could kind of see how that. Now that's putting it down here. You know, 4,400. 4, but uh, so th that that remains likely here if we're looking longer term, a, a path that we have to respect. Unless, if, if we are going to come down here and start, well, let me do it this way. If we're going to start the internal retracement here, swing high, swing low to swing high, and we are going to soften here and we're going to come down, we need to break this pattern. So we need an internal on the bullish side that goes external. So here, coming between the 50 and the golden zone, would put us up here. First algo target, second target. Second target breaks the big golden zone, right? That, well... Yeah, we, 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 we can use that here as, as resistance. So that puts us up around 14. So that this is the pattern break that we need. We need this. We need to, well, obviously, we need to break that golden zone if we're going to carry on with the bullish case here. But it needs to be done in the context of swing internal that goes external. Right? Then, then we break this pattern. Otherwise, it... it it's hard to look at this and not feel as though path of least resistance is lower. Now, I'm going to use that as a segue 
to look at the to go out to the to the weekly. Now weekly, if we get out here, so now note I am in log scale so that we can get some perspective on this. And we've looked at this before. This is really a function of how we're interpreting this. Well, there's a pretty reasonable case that could be made here that we're into some sort of a triangle here, which would imply that this was. Oh, come back here. So we'd have this this going as the one, two, three. Now note in log scale that would this the one wave would be longer, and we're heading towards the four and the five. So you can't can't eliminate this. Now you'll note here that I'm this looks a little wonky. Like, hey, what's what's with the pivots? With the pivots and the lines cutting off here. Well, what I'm trying to do is connect bodies. So I'm I'm working through this. I've got two massive wicks here that are just rejection wicks. So I'm connecting any any place where I can connect. So I get one, two, three here. I'm just missing those wicks, but I'm I'm really coming into that body. I don't want to cut off any bodies. So if, if I've got a reasonable candidate here for an A, B, C, right now, I, I know. So you could you could bring it down here. Or you want to connect the wicks, the wick lows, but I think that is less likely. So I'm up here to where I'm just catching the low of that of that candle body. And this, I think, is more probable. E even if you did it this way, E's are, <coughs> excuse me, are notorious for uh, an underthrow. So if we now kind of assemble this back up together, and we go swing high, swing low, put the E here for that golden zone. Now we're back in the context of what I was just talking about, where we need to go swing internal that goes external, right? So th that it sets itself up rather nicely here. As a contender, right? This is not an inevitability, just a contender. If we're going to come down, if we are going to soften and come down here, well, of course, the 50 is not unreasonable, but we, we've seen just this consistent re reaction, Bitcoin very responsive at the golden zone. If we're going to, if we were going to come down that far, well, now we're talking, we're under 6K here. If we're going to do that. But you can see how that would set up. Now we come back to not cutting off, not using the wicks, but using the bodies. And you can see that E coming in here, right? Right anywhere between the 50 and the 618. Here we might catch a perfect 50, which would be, yeah, let's call it 6,300 just for a round number. <coughs> so sorry, guys, excuse me. <coughs> so I mean, I'm kind of eyeballing that. So if we are going to come down and, and soften, I think that's this, this would be an area where you can kind of just use some of this, some of this price action over here. Mm. Anything in this range here before we went down, that looks like a reasonable structure here you might use. Looks like you're splitting it in half, actually. So if we look right here, well, yeah, there's the 50 right there. So from swing high, from the from the proposed A low to the B high, there's your 50, just, just splitting, the, cutting the triangle right in half, right? So maybe you do it something like, something along those lines. Again, if we're going to soften, that, that sets itself up pretty nicely, right? So if we come, come down, we, if we can get a three, right? It would imply that we're going up for the five. All right, so something to just have it somewhere. You don't need to refer to this every day, but just have it somewhere. I mean, that's a pretty good drop. So if we're going to go from where are we, you know, nine and change down to, to six and change, yeah, you, you'll know about it. You won't need to go over and check your weekly. So that, that said, let's go back to our day. Uh, what do I got here? This is my three hours. So I, I maintain this count. It continues to be, you know, the, the, the area of disagreement, I think, we say that, or, or varying opinions of, of the Elliott count is all tied to this first section because it's very, very hard to get a clean count here that would accommodate all of the overlaps here. So you, you've got to compromise one way or another. Either you, you got to go one, two, or you got to live with a, with a five, three, five, three, five leading diagonal and a very shallow two. It, it, it doesn't actually change where you'd be looking for the next reaction dramatically. I, I do think we have a reasonable case here to have gone W, X, and now we're seeking the Y via this ABC, which is technical. So if we just zoom in here and just blow it up a little bit. <clears throat> Again, we've been through this a couple of times. So pulling from the proposed X pivot here to the A here, so we come right to the 50. Note, right, what do we tag? Vegas wave. So we go right to the 50, which kind of sets that up. You know, so here's first target, second target. So if we're going to get a bigger move, well, then you might, you might think to yourself, okay, well, let's, let's take the length of the A projected from the B. Well, here's the 100, the 127, 138. So this, this range here to me would be just ideal. This, I mean, nothing wrong with this. Anyway, anything in this range where we get the geometry. Note this channel here. I've got four pivots here that I can connect perfectly, right? So pivot, pivot. Now here, I'm using the pivot high, pivot lows, right? So rather than just the bodies, but this, because I can get those four pivots that tag it so perfectly, it makes me think that, that well, really, 
down here looks pretty solid for a candidate, just that, just a candidate for, for the C wave to complete, C wave to complete down here. All right, so something like that. There we go. <laughs> so sorry, guys. <clears throat> I suffer. God, I suffer with these allergies. So now, now you could, now I know it gets, gets hard to see, but you could add to that the corner pocket. And then you see if we're going to, if we're going to carry on down here, if this is the little first retrace and we're going to get something like this, you could see how we could come down and head towards that median line. Although we're going to, it's going to have to happen pretty quickly. So if that, if that doesn't hold it, then, you know, I'd, I'd be off to shift looking for this to give this a little more time. Let's see here. So if we, if we go to shift, if I tighten that pivot up right there, get it right on that pivot. So if we come here, well, we've already tagged. Right, so there's the tag. If we're going to come down to the, because we're anticipating that it's corrective, coming down to the to the lower parallel here would be something to to keep an eye on. So you can see how it the 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 external channel getting all those pivots and then the internal set of median lines all kind of leads you to this a resolution down in this range. Let's you know we we'd be under 8,500. That would be a, a reasonable target. You know, but again, nothing says that that must happen. We we could do this. Right, it's just it's your best guesstimate estimate based on what the technical patterns that we can see. So there's a there's a valid Elliott count here that supports this thinking. But as is always the case with an Elliott count, all it would take is something like that to have you rethinking it all over again. Right? It's just a snapshot in time, right? And you, you stay with it until it's either invalidated or it realizes. Or it, it goes so far you have to rethink, you know, what what, what came prior. Right, right now, the threes here look pretty obvious. The ABC into the W, ABC into the X, AB right to a 50 in the Vegas wave implies one more leg down for the C. We're seeking the four or at least the C, pardon me, at least the, um, the W, the Y to, to complete the WXY. Give us a candidate here for a pivot before we go up and challenge this pivot high up here at 10.3. So that's kind of what I see in Bitcoin and we've been stuck here for quite some time. So if you, <clears throat> excuse me, if you, if you, um, oh, here, let's just back all this stuff off and just clean it up a little bit. Quite the, quite the box we're in right here, right? So just, right, really it's between nine and 10, right? We can't seem to get out of this box. Oh, what's down here? So, oh, pardon me, between eight and 10. Really, if you want to use the pivot lows. Between, so we got a $2,000 range that we're just stuck in and volume profile certainly supports that. So we come up here to this upper edge, you get the little divot down here. We get our little divot. So we're, we've got a $2,000 range that we just can't seem to break out of, right? And until, so you, again, now put framing it here, you can kind of see how that would set it up rather nicely down here, pivot. Right, we'd be right at the at the low here. We'd have a low volume node if we're going to go up and we're going to challenge that pivot. You could kind of see how that that could all play out rather nicely. All right. So again, is this is not a, you know, terribly popular count, but I'm sticking with it until I'm forced to to alter it <clears throat> or I see it get realized here. But right now, the next opportunity that I see, and you can see there's plenty of structure here to support the thinking. That if we come down here into this range, let's call it between eight and 8,200, I think there's an opportunity here to, for a heads up to perhaps get into a long there. Of course, the more conservative way to do it is always wait, wait, don't try and pick the turn. It would be ideal if you got five coming down. Wait for the pivot and then take the first retrace, right? Knowing that if you do that, if you were to get the pivot here, you could, you know, you might. You might, you might have a hell of a reaction. You just never know, of course. You might have a hell of a reaction. You get a long wait for that retrace. Just don't know, right? It's always a, a, a balance between risk and risk reward. <coughs> oh, gosh darn it. It's, it's so bad here in Austin. The allergies are so bad. <coughs> I'm so sorry, guys. I have just no way around it. All right, let me go gather my thoughts here. All right, where are we going next? Okay, so because that's kind of a snooze fest here, let's... Um, I had a few of Let's go over here. So let's just go. I'm going to take a little spin through some of the majors and then look at a few alts that are moving of late and give you a few places where you can look for ideas on alts. So here's Ethereum. So this is the daily on Ethereum. I'm not I don't particularly like this chart here. It wouldn't matter that it's Ethereum. I just if I pulled this chart up, I I'd, I'm already gone. All I see is just we're stuck in a range, right? Now, of course, just looking at this. It looks to me like it's ideal range expansion. So let me pull this off. I mean, as we sit here, 
I mean, if I were to put, put a line right here, it looks like we're, just, we're splitting this in half. So immediately I think wolf range. So I gra grab this, get up to my pivot. Well, lo and behold, right? So we, we've just got a perfect, we're sitting 50% in the middle of this range. So what, I have no advantage here. Now, if it, if it, so I, I would be bullish above, bearish below. If, if, it, if it comes down a little bit lower, that I, I'd be, right? So what, what is it we're always trying to do, right? Buy the internal retracement, looking for that to go external. But you could make a case, well, this is also technical. Let me zoom in here a little bit more. You could make a case here that, what, you know, we're, we're running into, man, let's see, let's go back to, oh, let's use that one here. So th this one here, we got some wicks that got through the golden zone, which would imply bull's advantage. All right, but they right obviously then, then we get the COVID sell off. But now we do this from that if I get right on that pivot. So we're com are, is this what's what's creating the problem here? We're coming up into the golden zone here. Well, this this certainly, you know, this this area up here would be our secondary. We gotta get through that. We gotta get through that so we can get up here and challenge this. And of course this will be resistance up here. If I recall, that's oh, which one was it? All right, we've because we've had this going on for some while. Yeah, was it this one? I don't think it was. It was one of these pivots was right, right spot on. Oh, there it was. Okay, so here, this secondary pivot right here. So we come note here. We go right golden zone. Now we've been denied these lower targets, right? But you can't. I mean, here's zero here. So we're not going to get. We're not going to get this one. But you know, I can't can't eliminate this one down here at 25. I mean, it's, it's possible possible. So this, this course, right in the current context, right, if we're coming up here, well, from this swing, we're already two and through. That's, that's a positive, but then immediately you got to go to this one. All right. So we're, we're bumping into that resistance. So th this to me, I, no, I'm not interested here. Again, it wouldn't matter, right? Much as I long-term like Ethereum, there's no trade here in, in my view, right? So, because I'm trying to trade longer term, just looking at this again, I just I don't I don't see any reason to be there until something more interesting comes out of this this range that we're just stuck in right right now sitting halfway th between the range. Next chart, okay. So oh, let's see. I had Litecoin here. Litecoin's kind of interesting. Let me, let's bring this up. We'll do our three majors here. I don't know if we still call Litecoin a major. Um, let's bring this up here. So. You know, we, we, well, okay. So, let, let, is there anything? Is there anything here? Well, we've got some long term. We look right here. Let's let's pull out here. Let's go out this way. All right. So the the pivot here. We don't quite get a new low here. Oh, but I think this was, if I recall here. If it wasn't this one, one of these we had a. Was it this one? This one had a slight break here, right? So again, it was this. It was very similar to Ethereum. You had a slight break here, so you'd think the advantage bulls, right? But that then there's the COVID sell-off. So that is, um, you know, kind of the same. We got, we did get five down. It was technical. Now note, I'm taking the length of this swing. Now we do go external here, but I'm using an external pull. I'm using the beyond 100%. We do get the one, two, three, six here within a couple, a couple of ticks. It doesn't quite. It's not quite to the tick, but we don't we don't get to this pivot low, but we do get the the, the well, same idea, right? So here's the swing internal retracement that goes external. I'm just measuring it a little differently here. So I'm taking this length and then going beyond 100%. All right, so that said, I think you got, let's get this off here. Nice, nice little trend line here that it's, that it's, that it's wrestling with. Oh, let's go three out here and we'll look down here. So it seems to be wrestling with this. Oh, let's zoom in a little bit. So we've got potentially that we're just going through an A, a B, and we're down here. That could move three, four. It looks like it might have a little more work to do coming down. Now, here's this trend line that's coming from that pivot, from that pivot high up here. So. You know, I'm, I'm kind of bumping into this here now here I could I could connect it here but it would imply now we're getting breaks but then we're back below so you just it's kind of a judgment call here as to how much you want to do use that I'm going to use this pivot here because I want to see or you could do it two ways you could do it that way or you could get an internal right going this way here and say I, I needed to break both of those trend lines before I start to get more enthusiastic about any potential upside here 
Mm, yeah, so this is slightly lower here, but it, I mean, that could, that could fly out of here right now. So it's certainly coiling. You don't have, oh, do we have anything down here? You don't have much. You're sitting at 50 in the RSI. So you don't really have much other than, well, so, you know, if, if, if you liked it up here at, at 84, you must love it down here at 40. We've essentially, you know, been cut in half. I think you could draw this up as a longer term base. All right, so anything down here in this range, you start coming down here, we get into the 29, 24. You could probably be stacking down there. You can, you can anticipate that others will be doing the same. So looking for that, that region down here as an accumulation zone, I think you start accumulating at the golden zone, right, if you're a long-term bull. I, I don't, I'm kind of neutral on, on uh, Litecoin. You know, for transactional crypto, um, I, I prefer Dash to Litecoin, but it's, it's certainly it's it's got a history and it's it's certainly it's got potential. You know, if we if we are going to get an alt season that really runs now, so I'm going to use that as uh, having looked at Bitcoin, uh, Ethereum, and Litecoin. So here I'm going to go over to this one first. So, so you guys know that I've, I've mentioned this before. Again, I have no affiliation here. There's as far as I know, that's free. I, I don't think there's any um, there's any cost here. But it's a great way to get a view um, at, at at particular crypto pro projects. Coin checkup. Again, I've, I've referenced it before. I do like how you can go to particular categories. Of, of crypto here to look for those and then they have their own ranking system based on some uh, an algorithm that they use so if, so here we are just ranked on market cap if i rank it on their algo score well then i've got ox monero iota zilliqa you know all, all of this so but this this is one particular approach and they have their their algorithm here i won't take you through it it's worthwhile here to come check and try and understand how they're coming up with these tallies and how they're ranking it's very it's relatively easy to take a look at it but another one that a, a member turned me on to just recently that I kind of liked. Uh, again, no affiliate link, no affiliate. I don't, all I know is it just looks like a, a decent price, a, a decent site. Lunarcrush.com. As far as I can tell, it's free, right? It's, it's, so you you create a, an account, so you probably get an email or two from them. But I, I haven't been inundated as of yet. But interesting. So they've got sort. Of, they, there's a few few sites that. Oh, try and uh, get a read on on crypto through social dynamics, right? So, is it being talked about? Well, you know, what's the is is there a lot of buzz in social media? It's kind of an interesting idea, and the idea being to what you as you see, well, you could just similar ideas are often uh, promoted for equities or futures, where if you have a lot of chatter about something, it can be a precursor to a breakout. And we've seen something very similar here. So if we look at, they, they've also got their own galaxy scoring score ranking here, this algorithm here, and then they've got an alt rank relative to Bitcoin. So it's kind of interesting. So I'm over here looking, I'm like, okay, all right. Well, so this one is, we, we did a God, I did a video on this almost a year ago, I want to say. It was about a year ago, and a few members took advantage of that or having just quite a ride here. So th this is their number one altcoin here. And then what I'm looking for when I come down here, if I see a major in here, all right, so some of these are going to be, so I would call these second tiers. Um, but, you know, I mean, here's Link and, and uh, oh, shit, we got Bancor, Ox, right? Now, note here. Ox is number one over on Coin Checkup. So when I see that, it makes me want to look at it. KNC is their number one here, and then uh, it's a little, I'd have to look it up. It's a little bit lower down here, kind of surprises me. But this is this is their number one relative to Bitcoin. So let's go look at that. But again, this is, you might have might have this on your radar. Again, it seems like a pretty interesting site. And then if you were to click on one of these, you get a little bit more detail, and you can see how they're coming up with all of the metrics that they're using. Sentiment, social volume, bullish sentiment, Twitter volume, social dominance, Reddit volume, news volume, spam volume, YouTube volume. You get the idea. So you can get an idea here if something's about to move. Often that chatter is is comes early, right? Before you get the move. So it's interesting. Interesting, right? Here's a lot of what they're doing in terms of their ranking. So if you're not, I wasn't familiar with these guys. Lunar Crush, never heard of them. Right? But a member turned me on to it. And I kind of like it. So KNC, so, so I use that as a segue. So shit, now I got to find it. Okay, so I, I went, I, 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 from that list over here of their, of their top altcoins, I said, well, let's go, let's go take a look at them. And I, I do this for a couple of reasons. Almost everything that we're trying to do at Trade Devils, 
is to get you to the point to where if you if you were curious about something, you came over here and like, oh, okay, well, it's KNC, Kyber Network, that looks interesting, or a any of the, oh, let's go back over here, any of their of their top coins. All right, now you might say, hey, um, it would be really nice if the guys over at Trade Devils, uh, if Sam over there would um, would would alert me to some of these. Well. Now, some of my team, right, they're, they're much more active in, in the alt space than I am because I'm, you know, I, I split my, my portfolio. You know, maybe. Oh, I mean, I split it between, between crypto, futures, FX, options. I, you know, so I'm not scouring through alts looking for the next coin that's going to do 100% from, you know, some ridiculously low level. Partly because I don't have time to do it, right, as a, as a function of running this business. But I, I, w I never was really digging. It's like digging through penny stocks. Like, who, who's going to get the pump? Now, I, wouldn't wanna give, I don't want to paint them the, in the, with the same brush because some of these projects are really solid. So, I mean, obviously, Cardano is a really solid project. Phantom's particularly, uh, Kyber's particularly interesting project. They also have this, this nice coin of the day. Interesting, right? So it means it's getting some buzz and then you've had some movement. So again, not to dwell on this, but the point I'm trying to make is not so much that we're going to spoon feed you. Hey, you know, Ox has got, you know, some buzz on Twitter. That's really not what we're trying to do. What we're trying to do is get you to the point where if you saw something like this, you say, oh, okay, well, Cardano or KNC looks like it's on the move. You know, something's happening here. We've got buzz. It's number one in this rank. I want you to be able to go pull up a blank chart of KNC and be able to do the analysis yourself. That's what we're trying to teach you. So that it, the, under, the underlying asset, is, as I have said, a thousand times makes absolutely zero difference. A chart is a chart. It does not matter whether it's crypto, FX, an equity, an index, a commodity, gold. It, it, it simply doesn't matter. The time frame also doesn't matter. Okay, let, so let, let, let's see if we can. You know, that, that, that's a bold claim, but let's see if we can make sense of that. Okay, so let's let's do. Um, yeah, shit, I'm not gonna remember where I put it. Hang on, hang on. No, it's not not over here. Where did I put you? No, oh, we just did Litecoin. Give me a sec. Yeah, okay. Here, here's here's KNC. All right, so this this is a, just what a spectacular chart. But this. Okay, so this is mine now. So one of my members who, who, who's caught this entire ride from a video I did over a year ago, he's caught this entire move because he just stayed with it. So we're, we're, he, he brings it to my attention. Hey, man, hey, Sam, I don't know if you remember that KNC video that you did, but man, have I caught quite the ride. Thank you so much for that, which I, I'm so happy he did. I'm happy he's catching that ride, but that, that's kind of, I'm getting off the point here. So what I want you to be able to do, let, let's just this way. I want you to be able to bring this up and go, okay, I know exactly what to do with that. That's our entire purpose. Not to spoon feed you the trades. That we're, we're not a call service. N never intended to be. I want you to be able to pull up a chart like this and know exactly what to do. As a matter of fact, I want you to pull it up like that. Because right, I, I, I was in log scale. So, let, so we, go, we go out to the daily. You look at that and you go, okay, what do I do with that? Well, okay, so if, if you're not sure, if you don't have a good answer, then we may be a good solution for you in terms of getting you to that point. I, I've said this for two and a half years. Our goal has never been to keep you captive as a member because you need us to give you the next trade. Our goal has always been to bring you in, teach you, and get you to the point where you do not need us anymore. That's always been my intention with Trade Devils. Now, it, it, for those, we have many, many members that do not need us anymore to teach them how to trade. Or, you know, how, well, let me rephrase that. To teach them the technical analysis. They, got, they can do it as well as I can, if not some of them better. That, that was never the point. If, the, if they stick around, they do it because they like the community. Right? It's like-minded people, similar interests, similar technical approach. They like the, there's a sense of camaraderie, particularly amongst those that have been here for, you know, two, three, four months. And we've got the two, three, well, let's see, two and a half, two and a half years. I've had people have been with me for, since day one. It's amazing, really. But <clears throat> they stay not because they need me to tell them what to do, but they stay for the community. 
Right? And then, of course, I can't keep track of every asset, every play. I should, I mean, my sense is, even with, with four or five people, we can't keep track of everything. So it, it should be that you get this chart and you can go, okay, I know exactly what to do with that. All right, I'm going to start at the daily. Well, what do I got here? Well, shit, I don't, you know, I, I don't know. Let's see if it looks like something. Certainly, we got a rip out of that. Well, you know, you're over here and I'm like, hey, man, that's that's number one. Look, it's really moving here. So I'm going to I'm going to go look at a few of these, and I want you to be able to go through that same process. So when I brought this up, I mean, I'm immediately kind of looking. All right, so what, you know, where are we? You know, for first thing you're going to do, okay, well, the owl goes in here. Are we technical? All right. Well, were we technical here? All right. Was this technical? Well, we didn't get make the we didn't well we got we got a swing low we hit a 50 we didn't get all the way down to it are we going to do something here are we gonna, where, you know I want you to be able to start okay well I'm right between the 50 and the 618 so potentially now I'm approaching some resistance and, you know I can't I can't quite see this so my first thought was let me get this into log scale maybe I can see this a little bit better well, I, this, certainly the range has been enough I know that's annoying sorry the oh, shit come here the range has been enough here to warrant and all we're doing often with by going to log scale it's just I'm, I, want, I want to see the separation a little bit better I did notice here right so I, I can't and so I, my, I, the guy who who, who took the trade just sends me a chart like this and he's like I don't know what I'm a little unsure about what to do with all of this well I look at that and I go I, that's that, that means nothing to me I, I really don't care about that so once we start to move right remember Elliott wave is when it's moving how does it move so my, my first thought upon looking at that, and again, I'm, I'm not trying to toot my own horn here. I, it's just, just the, the process. So I, I want to go to log scale and, and look at that a little bit better and say, okay, well, all right, how do I look down here? Okay, there's the low. Okay, I can see that. Well, we got, we, we, so we have an internal retracement, right? That's always, always, right? Internal that goes external. Well, one, two, three. Okay, so again, just, I, you can do this relatively quickly. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, and no overlap. What does that look like? Well, that looks to me like that's the, th the four, right? How perfect, right? It comes down, threatens it, doesn't. Okay, so now you're starting to put together accounts. So maybe, maybe, maybe I've got some sort of expanded B wave here, or that's the one. And maybe I have to do it this way. A, B, C. Okay, so I've got my, I've got my corrective wave. Okay, great. A, B, C down here. Okay, so maybe this is one, two, and we're up in the three. Okay, well, that kind of makes sense. Looks like, mm, if I did, yeah, maybe it wouldn't, it wouldn't matter. So maybe I have one, two, looking for the three, four, five. Okay, so you got to start on it there, right? This is just the process, right? Now, you don't, you don't have to use Elliott Wave, but, just, you know, it can be useful. Here it looks like, oh, okay, it looks like I got an impulse going. So one, two, okay, I can start to see, well, I got to get, I got to get an impulse in my third. Looks like I got a one, two. Well, just some basic stuff. Now, granted, we're in log scale. Don't forget that, right? So the, the numbers, right? Are, are adaptable relative to the fact that we're log scale. So as I'm assuming most of you know, that TradingView has now adapted this. So we're getting this 1618, 175 window in log scale, right? It would be very different out of log scale. Right. But, so I digress though. But the point being one, two, okay, I've got a candidate here. I'm, looks like I'm going up. I could go as high as two, six, one, eight for that three. Okay, good. Right. That's right. It's not so hard. Okay. It looks like within that, okay, maybe I got, oh, it looks like one, two, three, A, B, C. Oh, come, don't overlap the one. Looks like I'm going up there. So maybe this is my third at the next degree. So let's go up a degree. Let's go to minuet. Let's put that in green. All right. Okay. So, hey, looks like I got a one, two, three going in. All right. So if that not, I'm not trying to call the top here, but it looks like I've got the start on something. All right. So then, mm, and it looks like it might be, ah, shit. come here. Looks like this is my low here. And this might play better here. So we look at that. Okay. Well, let's just zoom in here a little bit. Here, let's not spend all day here, but it looks like this is my absolute low here. So let's get this absolutely tighter. So note here, right, when we were first looking at it, it was a little unclear where the low was. Well, this is your absolute low here. And even this, even this is a tick off. So let's get right on that low. All right, let's pull it back. Okay, one, two. So what do I have here? I have a corner pocket, right? It's not... Not golden, but I've got a corner pocket. So I know if that low holds, right? What do I say every time? 80% probability of making the median line. Well, blew right through it. 
right now we're now we're coming up here now granted again log scale it's going to look very different out of log scale which is why I want to be in log scale so here's the one two five of the uh, so some sliding parallels okay all looks good so it looks to me like I've got an impulse going here and I'm not trying to pick that top, but if I were trying to measure that, well, I can use some, some, some swing relationships that are common with Elliott. So I'm going to take the length of the one projected from the proposed four low. Well, look what I just did. Right, right to the 2618. So is that a reasonable candidate? Now, nothing says it has to stop there. Doesn't have to stop there. But isn't that interesting that we're, we're tagging the 2618 of the length of the one projected from the proposed four. So a, a contender. Now, how am I looking down here? Hey, I'm pretty hot on the RSI. Looks like I got a little divergence between this pivot to this pivot and this pivot down here. Right? Do you see the divergence down here? Right? So maybe, maybe, right? It's always a little bit, you know, you don't want to try and pick the top. You want to let the top show itself to you. So from here, you don't, you don't want to just sell that. Hey, we're at the 2618. Let's sell it. No, that's never what I'm saying. It's just, hey, heads up is really what that's saying. So something like that. Give me a lower high. Well, well what would that be? All right, if we swing down and come here, I've got an internal retracement that I'm looking to go external. So maybe I get an ABC and I carry on for the five. So it seems reasonable to put the four right on the, the median line. Okay, so I've got a little trade plan coming together. Now, again, remember, we're in log scale. So it, you, you've got to take note of that. So if you were thinking, well, where might that four find some support if it's going to come down? I mean, it seems, okay, so if this is a completed, if it's completed, if, if, well, here, let me get the regular one back on. All right, so here, somewhere down here between the 23 and the 38, right, we've got this nice structure. Well, really, I have two, two little shelves down here that I might look at and say, okay, if it comes down here for a wave four, wouldn't that just be perfect setup? Where's my wave five here? Now I might might want to re, you know recreate this based off of some other pivots here if we if we're going to push up and go up up for that algo target, and I don't necessarily know that that's where we're going. But again, if I were trying to put this together and say, okay, length of this one projected from let's say let's split the difference. Okay, well here's the one six one eight here. So now I'm I'm starting to build some confluence up here. Okay, well, so look, at that's interesting. So I've got the 100%, the length of the one projected from, well, here, I'm just guesstimating here. So I'm taking the length of this one. I do not have this pivot. So I'm just looking and say, hey, well, if it came down here to the median line, what would that look like in terms of a technical target? So everything I just did there, I want to show how it takes, you know, maybe, maybe seven, eight minutes. If you're interested in a project, I, I want you to be able to do that just, just like that. It's, it's not... You know, I I know things you do for a long time. You know, they they feel like you know, but what's the problem? It's not that hard. Yeah, I, I understand, right? If you haven't done this for a long time, you're like you're trying to remember what was that rule about? I know it said now which pivot. Do I, I understand that, right? That's why we have a business so that we can help you get to that point where you don't need someone like me to show you how to do it. You, just, you pull up the chart, like sure, I know exactly what to do. That's everything we're trying to do at Trade Devils. Not lock you in for long-term commitments. That's ne never, nothing, but I got one today. As a matter of fact, I got one today. Shit, I should read it. I, I, I got just one today. I remember he's leaving. We said, oh, great, man. Did you have a good experience? Why are you leaving? <clears throat> he said, I've reached the point to I'm really comfortable. He'd gotten, gotten through Blue Belt. And he said, I, I reached the point that I'm, I'm comfortable on my own. I want to try and trade without any assistance, see how I do. Right? If I fall on my face, I'll probably be back. But right now, I want to try it on my own. Perf that's, that's a huge success story for us. Huge. Huge. Right? I mean, would I welcome him back if he came back? Sure, of course. Right? But honestly, I, I, hope, I, I hope I never see him again. Again, it's not, not, nothing to do with him. It's just the means that we've had a success. We've, we, we've built someone into an independent trader. Right? Doesn't need right now. That doesn't mean that you don't seek some input and some ideas and you buzz through Twitter. You look for ideas. That's not what I'm saying. But you don't need to lean on anyone because you have enough. You have the technical chops to be able, to be comfortable putting your own money at risk without anyone's counsel. That's always what we're trying to do. All right, shit. I really went long winded here. I didn't quite mean to do go that long. Let's see. So I got. Oh shit. Here we'll, I'll, I'll just finish up here. Um, some of these. <coughs> 
like here was VeChain, same idea here. So this was, uh, if you'll recall over here, this is their coin of the day. VeChain, VeChain Thor, VET. So let's go over here. Oh shit, where did I put it? Here, here it is. So now, now note here, remember, this is their alt, their alt scores relative to Bitcoin. So I want to look at these relative to Bitcoin. Well, as Bitcoin puts us all to sleep and just goes sideways, some of the alts are starting to, to move, right? And then, of course, many people will tell you, what's the reason to trade alts, right? To accumulate more Bitcoin. So if you're if you're long here, you've got the opportunity to accumulate some Bitcoin. So it, one, two, three, four, five, okay, right? Is it perfect? No, not really, right? So when you're into these lower volume coins, you're not gonna get the same clean lines that you're gonna get because you have all of the chop here because of the very low volume. But is it tradable? Well, is it technical? First question. Okay, I can see an impulse going in. I don't, I don't know that I have a top here, but I've got a, I've got a candidate for an impulse that's come off the low, off of this, oh shit, right? It doesn't really matter down here, right? So somewhere down here, I get a pivot. Okay, so this is gonna be my one, two. All right, great. So at some point here, I'm likely to get a pivot. And then what have I got? Then, then I'm just right back where I started. Now I've got something that's gotten impulsive and I'm looking for that internal retracement that goes external, right? You don't need me. To, to, to tell you. Now, where, again, you know, when you're first learning, right, that the benefit of having that community to, you know, run ideas through, hey, I did notice that, you know, I have, I was over on um, Lunar Crush and I saw that, um, uh, that VeChain was their uh, chart of the day. And so I'm, you know, I'm kind of looking at it and it looks to me like, hey, I might have an impulse on my hands. Now, bouncing around that kind of feedback is great value when you're, when you're new, when you're learning how to trade. So again, what, what would we be doing here? Look, just looking for that. That's so this is one. So the, the, what I'm saying here is not, oh, time to jump on board here, right? Remember, just a bit fundamental concept here. We do not buy things that are going up. Well, let me rephrase that. I do not buy things that are going up, ever. I wait until I get an internal retracement and I'm looking to take it external, right? I, I know I'm repeating myself, but that's the whole idea. So you wouldn't look here and say, hey, hey, look at that, man. It just broke, it broke that pivot here. And we look, look here, it looks like, looks like we're gonna go. I wanna buy that. No, no, I never, right? no, no, don't misunderstand me. I've, I've tried to do it. Right? When I was first learning trading, oh, breakout. Well, wouldn't that make sense, right? If you're if you're trading equities, that's like where they tell you, oh, find the breakouts, buy the breakouts. Now you can get away with it in equities, more so than you can in crypto, FX, or futures. We want to buy retracements, right? Internal retracements, right? So here, geez, you, you get to the point where you can just kind of eyeball them, right? That looks like not quite, didn't quite get there. Maybe. Here's the 50, but two and through. So this looks a little sloppy coming coming down. Maybe that it's 100. So if it's if it's if you're not going to get the first algo on the pull, then I'd look here. So you're a little you know, again. This is low volume here, so it's not quite. It doesn't really get technical until we start to push out of here, where we can we can make a case for okay. I've got maybe that's my my two two through my three. Jesus, never the first time. All right, so a little. Mm, a, B, we're going to have to truncate that C. You could probably, it doesn't really matter here. So you might be, oh, could be even you had a little A, B, C, D, E, a little triangle here. Possibly, I would just leave it here. So I, I, either way, all, all I'm trying to do is complete this impulse. And then once the impulse is complete, then I just put a, an alert on the 50 and say, okay, well, if it's going to come down, if we're going to retrace that entire thing, if that's going to be my five, and we'll look here, look, all right, so you can get, it's not hard. Here, we just put this right here. I've got this one right here. Okay, well, let's, I can put alerts on those. If I start coming back down and I'm looking for my two and I do it in a three, okay, well, if I get something like this, I'm gonna hit any of that structure here. I wanna be alerted to that. So now I don't have to come back and check VeChain every day. I've just got an alert on it. Hey, if I see that in a three, I know exactly what I want to do and what I'm going to do. Of course, if I've got that, all I'm going to do is put this there and say, hey, maybe I got a corner pocket. Maybe I got a golden corner. Maybe I'm going deeper. I don't know. But somewhere in here, I'm going to find a pivot. And if that stays internal, if we go internal to external, right, what have I got? Boom. Oh. Right, golden corner pocket, right? If it doesn't make it, if it does it at the 50, no problem, corner pocket. Just means it's getting there sooner. Well, if it does that, if that's the, if this completes as a one, and I've got it, this is my one and this is my two, well, that's 
not likely to be my third, right? So maybe that's the one, two of the third, right? Maybe we're going to do this and we'll keep going. Maybe it's just going to keep going and we're going to go up towards the third where I know that would be the one, six, one, eight, one, seven, five. Again, it's not, it's not that complicated. It's just, it's the repetition, right? So this is why I've been talking about this lately. There's so much repetition in my videos because that's how people learn seeing it over and over and over and over and over again until you finally go, oh, shit, okay, I've seen it 800 times, so I'm pretty sure I know exactly what he's talking about when we go internal, external. Well, okay, so what would my targets be? Well, if we're coming internal, where am I looking for some support? Well, do I, can I use some Elliott Wave here to help me? Am I looking for a Wave 2 or a Wave 4? Am I looking for a B or a C? And if I'm going up, am I looking for a three or am I looking for the one, right? It's, it's, see, this is the redundancy here, right? That, that's because that's how people learn, right? That's why, well, not to mention the idea being that by approaching the market the same way every time, say, again, I, I'm not here to tell you this is the only way to trade or the best way to trade. This is just the way I can teach you to trade. Have, this is what I landed on, having tried virtually everything else. Or watched people do it because I was a broker. One of the advantages of being a broker, you watch hundreds of people trade, right? And if you if you're back, she's back in those days, right? You actually you had to talk to your clients, so you would understand what they were doing. Oh, hey, hey, John. Oh, inter you're interested in that? Oh, interesting. What are you thinking? Oh, you think you got a you know X Y Z W Z? What name your whatever they were doing back then? Didn't matter. I was just oh, that's interesting. Oh, okay. Well, let's watch and see how that works out. Right? You watch hundreds and hundreds and shit, thousands of people do that. After a while, you start to see, hmm, that seems to work, and that doesn't. That's how you end up here. All right, shit, I didn't mean to go. Oh, I did not mean to go that long. Okay, guys, lots to chew on there. You know, there's a couple of sites here. This one's not bad. Lunar Crush, I mean, it's all, it's all just crypto, same here. Both of these are good. And then I would look for when you see overlap. So if you're, if you're ranking by their, their algo score here and you see something in their top 10, it matches this top 10, well, that's one to go take a look at. All right, Bitcoin, hopefully we're going to get out of this funk sometime soon. All right, guys, there you go. Have a great weekend. Don't forget, we'll have this going all weekend long. We'll go through Monday. Save yourself a little dough. Okay, guys, have a great holiday weekend. We'll catch you next week.